Hello everyone, Coach Carol here with you. Now sharing some more of my workflow using AI tools. And today I'm going to focus in on how I use my Perplexity Assistant, which you'll see up here on the top right and also here on the right hand side as a sidebar. Now this works extremely well inside the new Comet browser that I'm using. So I can open up any of my sites. And in this case, I'm looking at my writing tool of Dabble Writer, where I collect the stories of my ancestors. Currently looking at chapter seven. In this one is the volume two, Skills That Bind the Entrepreneurs. And as you can see, I've got quite a few chapters and scenes here. And we're focusing in on my grandfather, Walter Frederick Ellery. So I've already got some stories that have featured elsewhere, and I want to tidy them up and make them consistent now, ready for publishing as a full book. So one of the first things that I can do now is to open up my perplexity assistant and put in some simple prompts like this one. Analyze these scenes in the chapter called Taylor's Tale, Life and Times of Walter Frederick Allery. Suggest improvements and keep to the style of previous chapter reruns. And I've done this for the previous four or five in this volume too. It comes back with three steps completed and they were to analyze the scenes, view the resource, retrieving relevant past style preferences, and then it finished. Those were the steps that it took, and it was really quick. And it came back with the analysis. And I can see that in dot points here, that it's a chronological account of Walter's life, vivid details about places, family relationships. There's an effective narrative arc. And the scenes include scholarly records, etc. All very good. Now I'm interested to know how it suggests I could improve and refine it. And it suggests starting with a compelling hook. Gives the beginning of that here. In the heart of Kingston, every stitch in Walter's coat whispered of fortune and loss. Tales woven through the fabric of his short but spirited life. Not bad. I would probably like to add that at the beginning. So going down further with the improvements, it's looking at adding dialogue and anecdotes, sensory details such as the feel of the cloth, the smell of the tailor's shop, then structural clarity. So we need to tidy that up. Character reflections, maybe more of my genealogist's voice. Imagining Walter's thoughts as he sold the shop in 1914, for example. Some emotional resonance to highlight the emotional impact of milestones such as death, property sales, and definitely the Brooklyn's crash. And then integrate a locality guide, which is something that perplexity does really well. And that could look at Kingston High Street or Chatham Road in those years. And it's given me a sample rewrite opening, which mirrors the best previous chapters. So as a starting point, I could simply pick that up, copy it to the clipboard and put that in place inside the chapter straight away. So that part is easy. It's really quick to do. But it goes on now for steps for improvement. So opening with a bold visual line, clarify family links, integrate, integrate, imagine sensory and conversational moments, place local history footnotes, and end scenes with an empathetic genealogist reflection. And then it goes on to say, I can suggest a specific rewrite right, for a particular scene or draft hooks, etc. Now this will take a little longer, but I'll put one of those in place. So we'll leave it showing just this scene. You'll notice here that this is a full 
chapter and each one of these are scenes. So maybe we'll go with this one about the probate notice. And we could ask Perplexity now to analyse this scene and revise for uh, using suggested points above. And watch what it does. It has a think about it and then it accesses my dabble writer. You can see the color changed and it tells me what it's going to do. It'll analyze the scene in the dabble document and revise it using suggested improvements. And here it goes. So on the right hand side, I can see what it's planning to do and the end product of what it wants to put in place. And that's taking a little while. So I'll just pause here and we'll come back in a few moments. You can see it now working through the steps that it has planned to replace and revise the text with its own suggestions. And it's inside the Dabble Writer scene on the left. You can see that the new color. And so it's now going about pasting the revised version in place for me. So it's almost done. We'll come back and have a look. And it's coming to the end now. And if we have a look on the right, we'll see what it's doing. It's doing its final checking. And sometimes it takes a screenshot to make sure that it's finished that task. And it looks like there were 12 steps that were completed altogether. So it's finished now and it comes back to say that it's refined the Walter Frederick Allery scene in the double document. And then it tells me what it's done, the key revisions that are made. So let's scroll back. You see how the color has gone now. So that means I'm in control. And I'll just scroll back to the top. We have a compelling opening hook. The, in the heart of Kingston on Thames, every stitch in Walter Frederick Allery's bespoke coats. Structural organization, clear section headings. Yep, measure of the man, and so on. And sensory details have been included. And there's quite a lot that it's done here, but in a matter of, I think, around five to six minutes all up. So we'll just finalize that and come right back. Perplexity has now finished all the revisions. I did need to prompt it to actually add them back into the chapter. I could have done that myself, but that took another five minutes or so and tells me it's now successfully completed all the revisions to the scene in the Dabble document. And it said, you were absolutely right. The initial paste had been cut off partway through, just something that I'd noticed. So now it has seven pages with a total of 1,564 words, including a compelling opening hook, which you can see on the left, then clear structural sections, the measure of the man, a soldier's interlude, but I don't see threads of life. That's something else to double check. But you can see how quickly it has put together an improved story for this ancestor. So that's the first step. With my double writer, I can now export all of the scenes in this chapter as a Word document in manuscript format. And I will simply add that into my storage area, Mallory's history of tailors. So there it is, the tailor's tale, which is in Word document. So now we're going to take this a step further and I'm going to choose another tool. Nope. This is a Google product and you'll find it quite amazing. This is what it looks like when you first come in. Some featured notebooks that you can have a look at. And you'll see that I'm already logged in. And here are my recent notebooks. 
So you can see some of the other chapters that I've been working on from my book. One, two, three, four are already in place. And I know you're wondering, what am I going to do now? So what I'd like to do is to create a report for Walter Frederick Allery. So I'm going to create a new notebook for the document that we've just created. And I upload it from here, Taylor's Tale. Notebook can take any kind of files, whether they are from Google or from Word or PDFs, even videos. It gives me then a little snapshot of, or a summary of that document that I can see right here. And I can save that as a note and it will generate the note down here. It will give me also some suggested follow-up questions that it could answer for me. For example, how did Walter Allery's tailoring business contribute to his family's enduring financial security? Clicking into that question, it will then go about giving me an answer to that. And it's usually quite comprehensive. As you can see here, accumulation of wealth and property, and it's looking only at the details included in the document. So all of this can be saved as another note. And I'll put that over here and see them both here now. But the magic comes when we use some of the studio elements. And I want to create a report. Clicking into reports, it gives me some standard formats such as create your own, a briefing doc, a study guide, or even a blog post. But this is the part that is quite new and really is helpful to us genealogists. Suggested format here is a historical narrative, a biographical narrative of Walter Allery for a historical society publication, or maybe a case study on multi-generational entrepreneurship in late 19th century, or a timeline, or an explanatory guide. So I'm going to go with the historical narrative. And you can see here that there is an option to edit that. So if we want more details to describe the report, we would add them down here. This is sufficient. Write a formal biographical narrative of Walter Frederick Allery's life from his birth in 1871 to his death in 1915 and so on, focusing on certain aspects of the life and use an objective and scholarly tone. So we would now generate that report. And you can see that it's thinking over here and it will relate this report to the document we've uploaded and any of the notes that we've created and added down here. So that will take a couple of moments, so I'll pause and come back. Notebook LM has finished with its report writing, and you can see that here on the right. It's created the life and legacy of Walter, and if I want to read that, I simply click into it. And you'll see here that it's based it on that one source, which is this one. And now has given me a very neatly organised life and legacy document with an introduction, foundations of a craftsman, early life, family trade, then building a profession and a family. So everything's ordered now chronologically. Milestone and service, then a pattern of tragedy. When we're talking about the death of their first son, and the death of water. And then down to the Master Tailor of Kingston between the years of 1904 and 1914, his professional and financial success, the Allery family home at 51 Chatham Road. The house name was Endora. Recognize that as the name of a character in a book. An unresolved question. 
there was an addition to the 1911 census, which was handwritten by Walter himself, included a person with the name Lily Wren, born in 1896. So she was around um, 15 at the time of the census, and he'd listed her as his daughter. Now, this is very strange because the surname is different. And so that caused me some concern, and I went off trying to find that. That's an unresolved issue. Well, then number five, the final arrangements and enduring legacy, securing the business, and then coming towards the end of his life, his death and burial. He actually died of tuberculosis in 1915. And his financial legacy and the inheritance, which was a substantial sum in the day and relates to a substantial sum in today's money. Then a conclusion about the pattern of resilience. So I've got all of that now as a new document. I can simply copy that, which will retain the formatting, which I will do. And then I can go back over to Devil. And I can simply add a new scene Put that down at the bottom here. Sometimes things slide around. I'm making it go where I want it to go. No, it's not going to. I'll do that later. But in this new scene, I can now paste that new information. And it looks like I don't need that. Just looking for the word count. It's probably down here at the bottom. Here we go. 1,584 words in this new scene. And I can then get rid of the others. So you can see how in a matter of half an hour, I have revised the story with a new title and structured it much better in a chronological fashion, all with the help of my AI tools, including my perplexity assistant and of course, Notebook LM. Notebook LM is going to really change the way in which you think about using AI. I do encourage you to come and have a look at some of the other things that Notebook can do for you. Apart from reports, I could turn this into a podcast, an audio overview, or a video, which it will produce with voiceovers and a set of slides with illustrations to match. So Notebook LM, as well as Perplexity, can really be your friends in changing, revising, and improving your ancestral stories.